Cheyenne Scott is my granddaughter. Her parents are Eric and Casey Scott, and Eric is my youngest son. Um, Cheyenne was born normally. We didn't know anything was wrong with her. And then at six months, we got to noticing that she was not developing uh, and doing things like um, standing up, uh, you know, doing things that children should be doing at that age. So it was determined that she had a genetic form of muscular dystrophy. And after she was with us, um, I would say more when she was about two, two and a half years old, we discovered that we were given another catastrophic illness. She was diagnosed with brain cancer, and that was what actually killed her. Our mission, the mission of the Cheyenne Scott Fund, is to help uh, children with catastrophic illnesses to make sure that their families are not uh, left with the burden, a financial burden. When my son, Reed, was diagnosed with um, a brain tumor. The fund assisted our family uh, by providing um, money in a time of crisis. Uh, when he was diagnosed and we were on our way to Le Bonheur, we had no idea it would turn into a five-week stay there and then on to St. Jude and living at the Ronald McDonald House for two additional months. And even though you uh, aren't really thinking about finances at that point in time. Uh, the reality is, when you are away from home, it costs money. The assistance meant a great deal to our family because it relieved some of the burden. We were so uh, focused on Reed, uh, and we wanted to keep our focus on Reed and not have to worry about the other things, and it made uh, our ordeal a lot um, easier to bear. We know in the past few years we have given about 25,000 to nursing scholarships and I would say we have given close to 60,000 maybe more for medical expenses. I felt very honored to receive the scholarship. Um, I felt privileged to be even chosen for it. Um, I felt obligated to also teach people about muscular dystrophy. Miss Martha Jo Scott is a very selfless woman. She helps tons of people in the community. She donates so much of her time and money to help people reach their dreams like she helped me. The greatest needs of the Shine Scott Fund at this time we can always use extra volunteers, uh, people that want to help us with fundraisers, um, people that want to refer other people to us uh, that we could help as far as uh, their needs. And I guess just overall, just any community support that we can get would be greatly appreciated. She is just a wonderful woman who reaches out to uh, those going through a crisis. She's been there and while everybody's situation is unique and a little bit different, um, there is still a level of understanding uh, the deep impact that childhood cancer uh, brings to a family. And she is there to uh, make a difference. Uh, for those families uh, going through that situation.